Do you guys remember when the first iPhone came out? YouTube tells me that most of my audience is between the age of 18 to 24. So that means that most of you guys were either pretty young or around the same age as me. I was still in India at the time and I remember seeing a big poster of the first iPhone and the first apps that were featured on it. YouTube was one of them and that's what gave rise to the smartphone era. These little devices are actually pretty powerful and I have some great apps to share with you guys that helped me all throughout my undergrad years and the best part is they're completely free. So here's all the apps that I'll be going over today and yes watch right until the end because I'll be talking about why it's important to have some food apps as well. So the first one that I'll be talking about is called Forest. In Forest you grow a virtual forest and the incentive is to ultimately not let your forest die. The way you grow your forest is by planting a tree. So it follows the Pomodoro technique and you can choose whatever time that you want to study for and then you can take a five or 10 minute break. I don't recommend studying for longer than 60 minutes in a row. My recommended time would be 30 minutes and then take a five minute break. So let's plant the tree and I'll show you what happens that if you get distracted and go to a different app. So let's go on YouTube. So as you can see, the notification popped up at the top to get back to the forest to prevent the tree from dying. But you know what, we'll ignore that. We'll go into my channel, just kind of browse around for a little bit. And let's see what happens when we go back. So as we can see, the tree unfortunately died. And it's a funny guilt feeling that if your forest starts to die, you obviously don't want that happening. Another cool thing about the app is that you can go on plant together mode, which basically means that you can plant the tree with somebody else. And even if one of you leaves the app, that means both of your trees die. It's like doing a group project, but one person can't just carry you. You both have to put the work in on this one. It's quite customizable as you, you can choose the different types of trees that you want to grow, the different time, and you can even set different tags based on the activity that you're using the app for. Is that an ice cream sundae tree? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, on to the next app. So the next app is what reminds me of how smart our phones actually are because this little handy device in our pocket can actually turn into a scanner. During online schooling, everyone is having to scan their exams or some documents to hand them in. And if you're wondering if this does a good enough job, well, there's times where I've had to scan documents for my parents' business for them to send to literally the Canadian government. So if it's good enough for that, then yes, it is good enough to hand in your Art History 101 exam. Here's an example of one of the documents that I had scanned and handed in last year. I recently heard of a friend that doesn't have a smartphone and was having scanner issues throughout the school year. I can't even imagine having to think about how much stress that would cause while trying to hand in your exams. So if you're watching this, let this be a reminder to remember how privileged you are to have smartphones. The next app on the list is called Minimalist. And I'm a big fan of minimalism and can we take a moment to appreciate the pun in the app name? I prefer my puns intended, so that's pretty cool. So Minimalist is essentially a very minimal to-do list. It has no distractions, it cuts right to the chase. If you're a person that finds yourself spending too much time organizing your to-do list compared to actually doing them, then this app is for you. So you can add in a new item by just swiping down and you can add something here. So let's add film video. When you're done an activity, you just swipe right. So let's look at the biggest priority here for me, which is of course to like, comment and subscribe. Definitely gonna do that right now. And once it's done, as you can see, it has a strike through across it. This app actually also follows the Pomodoro technique because what you can do is click on the activity. This is really convenient because you can see how much time the activity needs and then set a custom time accordingly and start the timer. It has some sound effects like ticking noises. The rest of the sound effects require premium membership, which I don't really have. The fourth app on the list is called Evernote. And the Evernote app is basically like the Apple Notes, but a little more advanced. 
This is really convenient if you don't have all Apple devices because this syncs on non-Apple devices and Apple devices at the same time. I won't go into too much details about this app, but here, when you make a new app, what's cool about this is that you can also choose different templates, which I mean, you can't do on the Apple Notes, so that's really cool to have. Okay, on to the next app, which is Canva. And as social media becomes more and more prominent, more school clubs are starting to get on social media, which is really awesome to see, but that also means that people that are not too familiar with graphic designing are at a disadvantage. That's where Canva comes in handy and you can use their templates and create a school poster or YouTube thumbnails, which I've been using Canva for. You can make quick little infographics, and they're really, really easy to use. I cannot stress that enough. Here, I'll show you an example of one that I used for my school. So this is a business plan cover I made for my entrepreneurship class in my MBA program. And this took me less than five minutes to make, which is quite crazy. And in fact, I've even started to pay for the premium subscription because of how much time this helps me save when designing basic infographics or pictures. So the next app is a financial app that makes my life easier by helping me split bills. It's called Splitwise. This helps out with splitting costs for rental equipment or even for our rental property when we need to split up utility bills. You can add lots of friends, you can set up different groups, and you can even monitor your activity here on the activity tab. When you've added a bill to split with somebody, what you can do is when they pay you back, you can click on settle up. And then it's all settled. Not only does this take away the stress of having to remember all the bills, it also takes away the weird feeling you get when you have to ask your friends for the money back. I simply add it on the app and then forget about it. They can pay me back whenever they want. So as a bonus, I wanted to talk about Notion and food apps. Notion is a pretty cool app where you can set up different dashboards for different activities in your life. It's helping me balance my personal life, my family life, and my YouTube commitments. I'll be making a video on how to use Notion and the benefits I've gotten from Notion in the future. Lastly, in terms of food apps, I don't have a specific app to show you guys, but I highly recommend downloading an app for a food place that you often visit. For example, I know I used to get breakfast from Tim's quite a bit when I didn't have enough time to cook. And it's crazy how many coupons these apps sometimes have, especially the Tim Hortons app. Like $2 off of a $8 order, that's almost 25% off in total. And these small savings add up quite a bit over the long term. So yeah, try downloading food apps for your food places that you visit the most often because you can either rake up points or use those coupons. I still recommend cooking whenever possible. Use the food apps as a last resort. It's always cheapest to meal prep and plan ahead. These are the apps that help me balance out the unproductive apps on my phone. And I hope you guys found these apps useful. I hope you download some of them, give them a shot and let me know what you think. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. Take care and thanks for being a part of my life.